Um, now I assume that you have all set up Papyrus according to the first video, so we're ready to actually import the template project and add it to the Git repository so that later on we can do automated builds. Um, I won't explain too much about Papyrus itself and Eclipse here. Um, we will do this in class and maybe I'll add another small video that just explains the parts for uh, all the people that are new to Papyrus and definitely for the ones that are, ones that are new to Eclipse. Um, good, let's start with the template project. If you go to Ping Pong uh, in the document section, you will find the project templates folder. And right now there's only one file in there, but once you will look at this, there will be a file for every group. Uh, so in this case, I just download the one for group 111, which I just created here. Um, and I, I already have it here in my local folder. And if you unsave that folder, you will, there will be uh, another folder and this is the actual project that you can use to start with. Um, so extract that one and then go to Papyrus where you simply go to File Import and there you choose from General Existing Projects into Workspace. So you import an existing project. Um, and then you have to browse for the directory where it is lying. You can either take the, the directory above or you can navigate in there, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then hopefully it will show you this project here and obviously you have to select it. Another option which you can select or not select is to copy it into the workspace. Um, that basically means that the original directory is copied into the, the folder that you have selected earlier for your workspace. I usually do that so that I can keep track of uh, where my projects are lying so I don't delete them accidentally. So now if you go into the workspace, you will see that there is the folder with all the necessary files. Um, so I can delete this one. Uh, in Papyrus, you now see that here you have a folder. That's the project we just imported and you can open it and you see all the different files. Um, probably the most important one for you will be this one, which is the, uh, the actual model that you work with. And if you open it, um, you see that there is a class diagram already created. Um, more about that in the project description and in the class. Good, but now the task is to add this to Git so that we can check it out. Um, for that, please go to Bitbucket and create an account there. We could, of course, use GitHub and so on as well. It's just for us to make it simpler. Um, once you have done that and logged in, it will look something like this. Of course, you probably won't have any repositories. Um, of course, if you have a Bitbucket account already, feel free to reuse that. Once you have done that, please go to Repositories and say Create Repositories, uh, Create Repository, and you can give it any name you want, but of course it would be good if it somehow has a telling name. You can make the repository private or not, that's up to you. Um, and please select Git, and that's all here. Um, maybe you can directly invite me here, no, you can't. So just create this repository. Uh, and you will end up in this view, which doesn't tell you a lot. Um, but all you need to do here is go to settings um, and to the user and group access. And there you invite me. So you add grisha at chalmers.se. Um, I'm already here in this case, so it, I can't really do anything. Um, but just click add and you can give me any permission you want. The important is the, the thing is that I have read access. So if I click add, it won't work because, as I said, I'm already here. <clears throat> Good, then you're almost done here. You just go to clone because that's where your URL to your Git repository is lying. Um, and you need that one for Eclipse or to, to check out the project. Um, I won't explain much more about Git because I assume that you know it. If you don't, make sure you get familiar with it through internet tutorials and so on. So that's it for Bitbucket. Now I can go back to my Eclipse um, and actually work on adding this to Git. The way to do it is that you open the Git repositories view and you do that by navigating to Window, Show View Other. And then under the folder git, you will find git repositories. Once you open that, you see it popping up down here. Um, and there are two ways to do it. If you, if you haven't checked it, if you haven't cloned it locally yet, you can click on clone the git repository. That is what we will do now. 
um, if you're very familiar with Git and you have your own structure and so on, you can just check it out wherever you want and then just click on the add existing local uh, Git repository button here. But we will clone it. So I'll, I'll just uh, click on there and it adds the URL automatically. But yeah, the one I just copied, you can just paste it in here. Uh, and that's all you do here. You can go to next. Um, here it asked me for my password because I never saved that. Uh, and it tells me that it's empty. This makes sense because I just created it. Uh, and then in the next view, I can actually decide where I want to save it on my hard drive. Um, so I just add a location for that. Um, good, and that's it for here. I just click finish. Uh, I add my password again and probably another time. Um, and then you see here in the Git repository views that this repository has uh, turned up here. Um, now we go to back to our project. We right click on the project and we say team share project. Um, and out of the two options you select Git uh, and you choose the right repository. If this uh, checkbox up here is clicked then you can't do anything so just remove the uh, tag there and then you will be able to select your repository um, and your project that you want to copy into it and you just finish. Um, and then you see that something has happened. There is a yellow icon down here which usually denotes that you have shared it in, in some central repository and here it shows you where exactly, so in git group 111. Um, now it's not yet done, I need to right click on here and I need to say team um, commit. And for those who have used Git in Eclipse before, you, you're probably used to that there's a pop-up coming. This has changed in the new version in Eclipse Neon, so you get this staging dialog. Um, and nothing is staged for change, so nothing will happen. So you actually have to take your project here and drag it into the stack changes, staged changes, sorry. Um, and then you see all the new files, and then you should add a uh, and probably this I shouldn't uh, add. And then you add a commit message. And then you say commit and push. And I will have to, yeah, I'll just go next here. And then I enter my password again a hundred times. Um, and then the whole thing is actually being uploaded to the server. And now it's shared. Um, and from now on, whenever you make a change, you will see this large done sign here. Um, so for me, it's shown because I haven't committed one of the files, which I should probably remove. No, I don't want to delete it. I want to ignore it. Um, And now this is done. So now, now it's all committed and now you will see whenever you make a change to any file you will get this sign showing you that something has changed. So if I for example take the build properties and I mess up something and I save it, it shows me that here something has changed. Good and that's it for all for this video. Now you have shared the project and now you can actually open your model and start working on the assignments.